Well, the latest addition in authentic Mexican cuisine is making its way to the Tampa Bay area tonight, having a sold out party with all the proceeds going to the Pediatric Cancer Foundation right here in Tampa. The first Besito restaurant in the southeast will officially open its doors to the public tomorrow. We got a sneak peek at what this place that translates into Little Kiss has to offer. What can we expect? Someone who's never heard of Besitos before, what can we expect? Uh, I think when they walk in here, they're going to get knocked out at the front door by the feel and the energy of Besito. You're going to be overtaken by the smells, the authenticity, and sort of the warm and welcoming, and we're expecting people. Tampa's the first one you open in the southeast. What makes you pick this city? T Tampa's a great city. It's a lot of energy in Tampa. People here understand food. People go out a lot in this market, and our partners are uh, hometown Tampa people. And so Tampa is a natural spot for us to come. Lots of brands are born and roll out here. So I'm real happy to be in Tampa. All right, so Wednesday is the day you're going to open to the public. I've been to a lot of Mexican restaurants that claim authentic Mexican. And once you eat it, you're like, this doesn't taste like authentic Mexican. How do I know when I come to Besitos that's what I'm getting? I think the key word in your sentence was <clears throat> claim. They claim to be <laughs> right. authentic. And all of our recipes, I call them grandma recipes. They're from some grandma somewhere, mostly from central and southern Mexico, although we do have a couple of specials here and there from the northern. But it's really authentic. I don't believe in fusion at all. I think fusion has a short life. When something's authentic and it's real and you, and you really stick to those details of authenticity, you have a product that has sustainability and people love it. And you feel it. When you walk into a Besito, you're taken over by the smell of pasilla chilies and things like you would if you walked into somebody's house in Mexico. And so I think people are going to feel that energy and, and really enjoy it. All right, I'm going to take your word for it. Don't take my word for it. Come on in. <laughs> I like it. I like your style.